celebrating back-to-back -back championships. This is the Stanley Cup Champions Victory Celebration, live on ABC Action News. Proudly sponsored by Wawa. All right, welcome back to our continuous coverage of Champa Bay's Boat Parade, the Stanley Cups, back-to-back -back wins. We are seeing everything out here today, Jameson. I'll tell you, we saw even like little babies dressed up in lightning gear. We see dogs dressed up in lightning gear, but so many families. It is just bumper to bumper. I feel like so many folks, anyone who had a boat said, we're going out to this parade. I don't care if it's a Monday. I'm playing hooky. Yeah, and, and why wouldn't you? I mean, you got to you, because you just don't know when this comes back around. But what we're doing right now is we're passing through the channel as we're heading north up the Hillsborough River on their way to Bricks on the River where they're going to end up docking their boats and then head over to Julian B. Lane Park. Right now about uh, three boats up, we got Philip Pritchard. He is the keeper of the cup for the Hockey Hall of Fame. He's on that boat with some of the other players making sure we have somebody in the water down there. I don't know what's going on. Uh -oh. Hopefully it's not a player. Well, we have dive teams ready yes. to save anyone or the cup. The cup has not <laughs> gone in the river today, folks. That is a good thing. It's getting passed from boat to boat, but it's getting cautiously passed from boat to boat. Bumper to bumper, if you will. Then yes. they kind of toss it and goes to the next boat. All the players are having a great time with it. Everybody's drank out of the cup at least once today. Wendy. I think Except they have. <laughs> uh, yeah. I was going to say, though, uh, but Killorn, of course, took the cup um, on his jet ski and uh, drove it over, I think, to Cooper's boat, the coach. Uh, he got to drink out of it. A lot of the folks on his boat, then he passed it over to Vinick, the owner of the team. And then they just have cast literally passed it from boat to boat. So they're having a great time. Fans are all over screaming their names, enjoying this moment, thanking the Lightning players for an incredible season. You know, when you see this on uh, national news tonight, Wendy, you're going to get these aerial views that are going to show just how many people came out today to line the parade route, to get on a boat, to be out here and support their team. You know, we, we had a drought there for a while, Wendy, in this town. And then all of a sudden, the lightning started it last year. Then the Bucks continued the tradition. The Bolt said, hold my beer, <laughs> literally. Right. And here they are again. And, uh, you know, I think when it was last year, everybody was thinking, how's this going to work on the river? Everybody was a little hesitant, but came out. Right, because we had to be socially distant right. because of COVID. So it was a brilliant idea. And, you know, so many folks lined the river walk then, but I tell you, it seems like there are three times as many fans out here this time than there were over a year ago. And everybody sees the pictures on, you know, on, on social media of how good everybody had a time during the Bucks parade, and everybody's back out here today. It's just such a great time. Everybody enjoying this weather. Just a light breeze out here today. The clouds are, uh, the clouds are, you know, getting the sun's getting behind the clouds every once in a while to give us a little break from the heat. And we're having a good time. But you know who's been in the shade all day long, Wendy? Is uh, I think it's Paul and Sean Paul on the Sean. tiki on the tiki boat. Can I, I ask mean, them a question real quick? Yeah, I don't hey, know. Can we? Can it, they hear us? Can you guys hear me? Tiki hut boat here. So we got a little bit of shade. And uh, Captain Gale navigating through the waters here, helping us out. Yeah, it's been hey. a fantastic day, guys. I hope you've enjoyed our moments that we've been brought it, bringing right to you. Now, it's uh, it's been it's been epic, and uh, hopefully this is a tradition because we've made it a tradition almost. Uh, every year, you know, the Bucks parade last year, if you want to compare it, Sean, I would say uh, just the only difference, my friend, would be more red. Oh, what's going on? <laughs> it was just, it was, hey, everybody, how you doing? I would say just more red, and now it's blue, and that's pretty much the only difference. Being down. And we're uh, back out here as we're passing through the channel in the Hillsborough River, uh, heading up north on the, uh, on the Hillsborough River, and uh, just coming up. Behind us and to our left here is Lightning owner Jeff Vinnick and, and his boat that he's on today. I mean, just a just a great guy. He's having a good time. He's usually very reserved. I know. He is normally very reserved. But I saw him hold up the cup um, a little while ago, and he almost took him backwards uh, because that cup is 35 pounds heavy, right? So it wasn't easy for him. But he's got his kids with him, his whole family. Of course, his son got married Saturday night. That's why the, let's, let's the parade take, was take, delayed. We're going to try to get a shot here, of uh, uh, Jeff Vinnick right Jones now. Tim's can. I mean, a photographer slowly walking up. It's um, a little tricky there back he here. Is. The owner of the team, and he Lighting is one Jeff incredible and philanthropic How man. Let me, um, let me scoot up. Uh, Can Tim we do this three times well. in a row? Uh, <laughs> He's going to worry about uh, season three tomorrow to see if uh, they could do it three in a row.
Thank you, you for says, your, philanthropic, your, your philanthropic work as well, Jeff. Thank you. You're awesome. He just said, hey, let's worry about today. And then tomorrow we'll worry about tomorrow, tomorrow we'll, we'll worry about, about number next three. season. That's right. You that's know, right. It's, it's going to be a little tough maybe to keep this team with the salary cap, the expansion draft. And he's right. right. Let's worry about today. Let's, let's enjoy today. Let's just enjoy the moment. And tomorrow has enough of its troubles of its own. Okay? Right. So. And as I mentioned, Jeff is such a, um, a philanthropic individual. He's uh, very, very giving. He gives to Freedom to Tax Your Research Alliance and so many other charities. Of course, he puts so much money into Amelie Arena. And uh, the fan experience is incredible when you go in there. If you've ever watched a lightning game, um, he that that's him. That's his. It's his. Uh, vision to make sure that the fans have as good of an experience as watching the players play. So, um, so many folks are cheering him on and just having a great time. And you I know, Wendy, that was, you know, it, it, it is it is Jeff Finnick who, who brought a vision to bring to bring championships here to Tampa Bay. Hundred uh, percent. When, when he came on board, and and he's and he's been as you said, he, he's been doing so much for this community, but in a lot of ways, when when you can reward them even more with a day like this. I know he's just as proud because he sees how happy everybody is. Oh, and, yeah. Uh, and we needed this. I mean, you know, of course, the whole country needs a moment like this after yeah. the year and a half that we've had um, from the pandemic. But it's just so nice to see masks off, people smiling, screaming, enjoying the moment and just taking it all in. It's it's such a such an incredible afternoon. And we've seen a little bit of everything. We've seen so many folks on jet skis. We've seen them on uh, small boats, bigger boats, yachts. Um, anybody, I think, who has a flotation device has been out here trying to get close to the players and take a view. And I think uh, also so many fans still line the river walk, as you see there, but just shoulder to shoulder. Let's send it over now to Paul and Sean on their Tiki Hut having a good old time. Guys, take it away. <laughs> Every, every, everyone loves the Tiki Hut, every, don't People they? love the Tiki <laughs> Hut, sometimes a little too much. That was the greatest moment when the entire ABC Action News right. family was like within three boats of each other. It was crazy. You know, we're trying to squeeze through uh, the bridge here, but we actually have to go around Guys, on this side. This is the aftermath. So this is the, <laughs> <laughs> this is all the people who are left after the great passes. Well, Look how thick it is in here. Like I said, it's Aqua Tetris. It is insane here, guys. Bit of a bottleneck. Uh, the cup is ahead of us at this point. How you doing, guys? <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's living the salt life today, my friend. Uh, you know, Sean, you, you've covered uh, major sports for years now. How does this compare? No, I'm serious. I've covered, what, three Super Bowls, and I've been on there when Springsteen was rocking out. When he was here, you know, that was probably my sports highlight, believe it or not, when Springsteen was playing the Super Bowl. I got yelled at by security, but forget about that for now, everybody. But no, this, right when the cup was coming towards us, yeah. Matt Lathan, our photographer, he's got it there. Boats are coming this way and that. I heard Wendy Ryan screaming at me to look out. Dennis is telling me. That was great. Wendy was tempted to jump ship and start swimming to the Tiki. That was great. How about you? How does this rank? Uh, this is awesome in, 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 in terms of Tampa Bay moments. I mean, this is, you know, the bucks, the bolts, what else do you need it's and just, on the water? So you it's, think you're going to be, you reach that, reach that peak and you just don't. Like, it's, no. this has been one of the uh, greatest sports days of my life. I will say this, you know, don't get used to it, know, cherish right? it, because yes. I, I hate to be, I don't want to be Debbie Downer, but this may not last forever. This is special. Yeah. And soak it up, guys. We'll toss it back to you. Yes, Kyle Berger, what is this rank <laughs> in your sports life? Hey guys, I'm stage side right here at Julian B. Uh, Lane Park where the celebration will eventually get to. They're on the river right now behind me. Uh, they're making their way to Rick's on the river. They'll be bussed over here for a celebration. Fans are already gathering. They've been here for, I got here nine o'clock in the morning. They were already here when I got here. So we're waiting for a, a huge celebration. We'll have uh, the trophies all up here on the stage, the Stanley Cup, the Conn Smythe, the Conference Championship Trophy, and maybe we'll have party cooch. I don't know. We probably will. So it should be a lot of fun to see what the players have to say after they made their way down the river. For now, we're live in yep, Tampa. Kyle Berger, ABC Action News. It's so loud out here. 
here. We couldn't even hear that you guys were tossing to us. As you can tell, the Stanley Cup just passed by us. That's why this crowd is going absolutely crazy out here. Uh, we thought it was Jeff Bennett who held the Stanley Cup overhead, and the crowd just started cheering. They would have cheered if anybody picked it up, <laughs> really, right. to be honest with you. I was a little worried. He, he hoisted that thing in the air so hard. He stumbled back. <laughs> of that boat. I yes. stumbled back a little bit. I thought we might uh, have I to was get those a little worried too. Uh, but this has been really cool. Um, I will say, this thing started out very, very organized in a very nice single file uh, manner with all these boats. And Dia, we watched it just blow apart. Oh my god. There gosh. is no organization now. None whatsoever. I think because the cup has been going from boat to boat to boat. And then after that, it was like, okay, Free let's just all. go. Yeah, yeah, go for what you know. Whatever. But you know what? It has been so amazing. Just so much fun to watch the fans going crazy. I heard Wendy say the city really needed this. Of course, the country needs this. But, you know, we're just so honored to have this excitement in this championship here in the Tampa Bay area. It feels really good as we're seeing Jeff Finnick with the cup right now uh, with our overhead view of what's going on here. And I got to hand it to all of the, uh, the thousands of people that are lining the Riverwalk here right next to us. It's a sea of blue as far as you can see. Sticking it out. Hanging out here in the sun. It's awfully hot. But they weren't going anywhere until they got a, glam a glimpse rather of the cup. Uh, coming through here. And that's really what it's all about. It's kind of the grand finale, if you will, of the parade. Uh, you really feel the energy all throughout. A lot of the players um, uh, grateful for what they were able to do, coming up really close on the boats and waving to fans. Some had some alcoholic beverages they shared <laughs> with some fans. I was trying to protect Dia, capturing a couple of uh, cans that were being thrown our way. I didn't want you to get uh, knocked in the back of your head. Uh, but it's really nice. The access is, is fantastic. And again, what we said, this is the best marketed sports franchise in the Bay Area. People wonder, how do you even skate on ice in Tampa? Well, we're a hockey town. Absolutely. We're a hockey town. No question about that at all. And you know what? There was some question last year when the Bolts won the championship that people said it wasn't real because, of course, right. it was in the bubble. It was a shortened season. An asterisk. And they Exactly. Yeah. And they came back this year and they said, you know what? Take that. An amazing win, just you know, um, uh, just a commanding lead, um, and, and you have to wonder though. At home, you know they, you know, you, you kind of have to wonder. It's like you know, it's so much sweeter when you win it at home because last season they couldn't enjoy that with their families. So you know, you just have to wonder. I mean, I'm sure they wanted to, you know, to have a sweep, Deal but how no. sweet it is to to win it at home and to be able to celebrate with the fans. Just an amazing day today. Everything worked out just the way it was supposed to. And you know, you heard that sentiment from a lot of the players. You, know, you heard Steven Stamkos for sure say that they felt the pressure to win this year, knowing that because of the salary cap, yes. because of the expansion draft coming up, that this is going to be the last time this group all together plays together. There was the pressure there, despite being the reigning champions. The, the pressure to defend arguably may be the most it's ever been in the history of this league because of that strange shortened season we just went through. I just I tell you that the fans are just so proud of the team. And you can tell, too, the connection, you know, with the players so close to the fans, wanting to share this moment with them. Stay with us. More of the celebratory boat parade for our championship. Tampa Bay Lightning continues right after this break.